Welcome all and thank you all for coming and thank you for all taking your seats fairly promptly so that we can get going. I'm Andrew Wilson and I'm um, going to uh, MC today and try and keep you on track uh, for this important occasion. I think it's uh, a recognition of the importance that so many of you have made time to come here uh, and participate in this important discussions uh, around health and medical research in New South Wales. And hopefully we'll enter into the discussions in the, in the spirit in which is intended, uh, which is that we are looking here to, to we, are, we are seriously here trying to look for some ways forward, some ideas, some uh, solutions that can form um, part of the thinking around the health and medical research strategy going forward. So just some uh, quick housekeeping uh, before I start. Firstly, um, welcome. Um, not too often that you get uh, two ministers in the same room and we're also we're having three ministers today, which is a, an indication of uh, the importance of the day. So welcome uh, Minister Skinner, Minister Goward, uh, and also win, um, welcome to Elizabeth Coff, the Secretary of the Department, and Kerry Chant, uh, the Chief Health Officer. With those introductory words, it's my pleasure to introduce Uncle Ray Davidson to give us an uh, introduction to country. Thank you for that welcome. Uh, my name is Ray Davidson. I'm here this morning on behalf of the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Lo Local Aboriginal Lands Council. The Lands Council and its members, <coughs> pardon me, I've been suffering of hay fever and my throat's all dry. The, the uh, Lands Council members, uh, have been the custodians of clan groups, will be your and and give me permission to once, a once again today to come along and welcome you all to country. Ministers, uh, special guests, ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome to Eora Country. Um, each time I have the opportunity to give welcome to country, I, I, I love to express to people, because <clears throat> I'm sort of aware that uh, each time I do welcome to country that uh, I may be speaking to people for the first time that haven't heard welcome to country or heard me say welcome to country. And I and love to express to those people that um, the importance of, oh, thank you so much. The importance of our welcome to country, how its origins are on the east coast of Australia and it's been around for thousands of years. And um, uh, we've always celebrated welcome to country when we have uh, uh, big uh, celebrations and big corroborates. Can I just have a drink? Because this hay fever is really, well, you, you're a health people, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I actually, um, suffered with hay fever really bad for 20 years and for the past 10 years it's sort of left me and went to my wife and the last two days it's come back to me and it's been really assaulting my senses and my not so good looks over the last couple of days so I'm, I'm looking pretty haggard today but um, I'll just have a little sip. It's really wonderful for me each time I have opportunity to welcome the country once again and I love to express that to people. Uh, the importance of welcome to country because it's not just an Aborig Aboriginal thing today or a black and white thing, it's an Australian thing. And the importance that um, private enterprise and state and federal government give, give back to uh, welcome to country is, it, it quite amazes me. So each time I have the opportunity to come onto my traditional land, especially down here within Sydney, because um, we're the Gadigal people, people of the Eora, regard the three rivers of Sydney as sacred and, and within those boundaries are are our clan people, but, but also um, it's wonderful that when you think of our, our close past history here, or even 5,000 years ago, uh, this was just a valley here and uh, the water was some kilometres away from here. So to, to come here and be on traditional land, um, to each time I have the opportunity to do that, it's really, really special to me. Uh, my people, the Gadigal people, are one, one of the 29 clans that make up the Eora Nation, and our clan land boundaries, uh, once again, are the three ri rivers of Sydney. And our clan, my clan land, the Gadigal clan land, goes from Circular Quay up to Redfern. So to be down here each and every time I have the opportunity, um, it, it just totally amazes me that um, I get that opportunity to stand up before any given people and welcome you to my land and actually say to you, welcome to my country, welcome to your country. I'd like, um, <clears throat> in, in keeping with Aboriginal custom and protocols, I'd like to pay respects to elders and descendants both past and present of the Eora people and in doing that, extend that welcome to each and every person here today and extend that welcome to each and every person here today, your, your fathers and mothers from the past. And in, in saying that, uh, I love to explain to people in a, in a short way that um, when we pay respects to elders past and present, uh, we believe that they're around us. And, and so having said that, 
I'd like to pay respects to elders past and present of every person in this room today and uh, know that uh, your people are around us as well. So it does, and, and, and just in shortly I'll say, <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you've been here for 10,000 10, years, 1,000 years, 100 years, we're all part of the same and we have one mother, and I love to remind people this, we have one mother and that's Mother Earth and Mother Earth knows each and every one of us and she loves us all equally, so it doesn't matter who we are, where we come from, we're all part of the same. And once, the main, it totally, once again, it, it totally amazes me that um, I'm the person I feel so privileged each and every time I have the opportunity to, to give welcome to country and welcome people to my land and once again to, to uh, my country, to your country, it just totally amazes me. So coming here today, once again, it's, it's, it's been a great pleasure. So I hope today is a wonderful day for everybody and I'd like to say in closing, may the spirits of my ancestors walk beside you and protect you whilst you're on Gadigal land, Eora country, as I know they will beside and protect me. Thank you all very much and I hope it's a wonderful day today and as always I'll excuse myself because um, I'll leave you to your business and uh, um, on behalf of the uh, Metro Lands Council to the Ministry of Health once again thank you for the beautiful invitation to come along as always to welcome you to my country, to your country. Thank you.